Hi everybody, it's me Monica and welcome to another speed build. So today we are going to be doing a greenhouse bar and we are of course here in Winderberg on 20 by 20 lot so we have a very small lot to do this but yeah, I really, really wanted to do something like this because I actually downloaded uh, some new custom content from Felix Andre, uh, especially his provision set and the colonial set part two, if I'm not mistaken. So I just kind of went into the game and said to myself, okay, I will just, you know, try to build something I didn't have any ideas or whatever i just started to build something and i actually had this beautiful roofs by uh brazen lot lotus i think uh and the pro problem was that the link that i downloaded it that from uh it's not functional anymore i've been having this roofings for quite a long time i think for two or three years even so i was very sad actually that i couldn't find the link for uh, this roofing but at the end i remember that i'm in a cc uh, group on reddit and i posted this and asked if somebody uh, maybe knows where I can find the link that uh, that it could work and actually people helped me and find me the link that works for this roof so I'm very excited because of that uh, because I thought that I'm not going to be able to download this to the gallery because without this roof I don't think that this build would be the same like it's it's especially charming because of this roof <laughs> so yeah i'm very happy that i was actually able to find the link for you guys so you can download everything um except for this roofing and from felix sandre custom content i also used like one plant from Harry <laughs> and I think that I used Peacemaker in the bathroom for the tiles and the sink so I'm going to um, put all of those CC links on on the list uh, in my description down below so you will be perfectly able to find everything by the way, Felix Sandre's custom content is not for free. Uh, I think he has like a few, uh, few packs, few very, very old packs that he actually put for free um, on his Patreon page. Uh, but all of this custom content that I was using in here actually costs and I think that I used more than three and four, four packs uh, for this build. So you will need to decide, do you want to purchase it or not? I can't help you with that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mostly always purchase everything from Felix Andre because he's given me a much more content for uh, like a price of one original pack from The Sims 4, so I don't have problems with giving him, like, my support. That's, that's just, that's just what I uh, wanted to say. So I actually put some lot traits in here. Um, I put, like, a romantic aura trait, sunny aspect trait, and great acoustics trait because I figured this is like very, very romantic place um, maybe for some, some dates or something like that or just if you want to drink, I don't know, coffee or wine on, on a fancy place I think this is just 
the perfect place for that. That's because that's why I put a romantic hour trait. Uh, also, I put the sunny aspect because I think you will notice that just lightning in this build is absolutely gorgeous, and I didn't put a lot of lights inside. Mostly, I put some. Uh, candles and things like that it's not like overpowering light I would say so I don't know I really wanted to leave that beautiful shadowing going uh, going on inside um, I just didn't want to overdo lightning inside so yeah I, I just put some cute little candles and make this space even even more romantic, I would say. <laughs> and also I put like a great acoustic slot trait because I was thinking maybe it would be so cool if somebody would play a violin inside or something like that. I think you would totally agree. Um, I can't decide uh, what style in particular is this. Um, it definitely reminds me of a Parisian, a Parisian vibe, but also it reminds me of a Victorian greenhouses. So I would say it has <clears throat> a little bit of a both. And I don't know, I just really, really like this mesh. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of gardening going on in here. You can see like a little fountain in here and mostly I used uh, the Sims Romantic Garden uh, pack in here. I would say I, I didn't really use a lot of uh, original packs, original maxis bags. Uh, most of the items that you can see here are from the box section. Just some plants and uh, fencing around this build. Nothing, nothing special, but I would say it looks very cute and I'm quite satisfied with that. Also, this beautiful white flowers is also from the Romantic Garden uh, stuff bag. And those are just probably one of my favorite, favorite flowers ever. And this small white ones are from vampires, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're from uh, the box section from the vampires pack. So, yeah. Uh, as you can see, I used only white flowers again. Um, if you're a fan of my content, you probably notice that every single time when I'm doing gardening, I'm using white flowers. And the reason for that is that I really like white flowers. Those are uh, my absolute favorite ones and I really like daisies and uh, flowers like that, like white roses. I don't know why, but white is just... white is always speaking uh, to me, really. I really, really like the white color. Even though people say like black and white are not real colors, but if I, if I would need to choose between white and black, I would always use white because it just looks so fresh and, I don't know, elegant, young, just white is everything. Also, I use this floor tiles uh, from S Imagination's kitchen, if I'm not mistaken, um, cottage kitchen, and those floorings are maybe my favorite ones that I've ever put in the game, like, they're just so so beautiful and it, and they really works with a lot of uh, different interior styles 
So you can combine them in all sorts of builds and that's just amazing. And I definitely wanted to put the tiles in this because it's a green garden so I thought that's more realistic that than the uh, wooden flooring. I usually use wooden flooring for like everything but this this time this was the right cho choice I think and also you can see me putting this beautiful beautiful TV from Felix Andres and Harry's collaboration Living, Living Ram. Also I use their collaborations for some clutter especially um, glasses i put a lot of glasses on the counters uh, over the bar so you're going to see that as well um, and yeah that's that's basically it i didn't put a lot of things here in uh, the interior i went for like more airy minimalistic style and i also put this fountain from realm of magic here in the middle of the build because i don't know it's just fit fits in here so perfectly i'm really hoping that you all can agree with me uh definitely guys tell me in the comments uh, what do you think about this build? Did you like it or not? Uh, this is my second attempt for this build. I actually built it just for fun and people on Instagram really liked it. So I decided to build it again and actually this time record it. So it's almost the same like the one that I put on Instagram. I just uh, did a few changes here and there, but that's basically it. So, guys, thank you so much for being here with me. I'm hoping you did like this uh, build of mine. Definitely tell me in the comments what do you think or what do you want to see next from my work. And yeah. Um, Please, if you haven't done that already, subscribe to my channel. That would mean so much to me. And I wish you the pleasant rest of the week. I'm sending you a lot of kisses. I'm hoping to see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye, you guys.